10 November. Srini, I think an old voice uh, we have all come to recognize on 2 meters. And we really miss you a lot on 2 meters, Srini. I know your health has not been the best of shape, but we really, it's really, really heartening to see you here this evening. I think a lot of people were like really happy when they learned that you're going to be here. A lot of people were actually undecided about the turnout. And I said, look, if you can, Shrini can make it, why can't you? And then we had at least 10, 12 names go up in the list of confirmations. So thank you very much, Shrini. I think the whole uh, city of Mumbai deserves a round of thank you to Shrini. He's been one person who would always answer your CQ. He was somebody who would always keep the radio next to him. So even if the rest of Bombay would be busy, you know at least there's going to be one person on air who will respond to your call and that's really. And not just keeping you occupied with a simple signal report or your name or your QTH or you know, the basic information that we exchange, but a lot of technical information, a lot of interesting information. I think most of you over here would not be aware that Srini had an illustrious career with Air India and he started flying before Air India was even born, before even India and Pakistan came into being. I think he has had an illustrious career in flying and I've had many conversations with him on air, especially to do with air band listening and he'll tell me inside out about aircrafts and the wealth of knowledge that he holds is just tremendous. So thank you, Srini. I think just another bit of small information if you would appreciate, he was one of those early people, you know, there was no voice communication on aircraft, so all the communication used to be in Morse, and he would fly with one hand and send out information with the other. So you know what a veteran CW operator we have as a Thank you, Srini. I think we'll stick with this table, I have uh, George over here. I think just like we have a G5 RV antenna, I think we have a V2 GT antenna. I think it doesn't need more introduction. I think every one of us who's come on VHF has started with a 5 and 8 antenna. It's appropriate to call it a V2 GT antenna. <laughs> and uh, it's really nice to see so many people here together this evening. I'm really amazed and I think the organizers of this whole evening need to be commended for this. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, be nice to meet so many people I haven't met in years and uh, renew contacts. So let me wish you all of you a very nice evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. So what I'll do is I'll go around, uh, I'll just, you know, give the old timers an opportunity to introduce themselves first and then we'll have the food counters open. So we can enjoy the food and also keep getting introduced to each other. I hope that's okay with everyone. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll come to uh, you to Alpha Yankee over here. So if you could just take two minutes and talk about this. <laughs> Let me just say hello to everyone. Hi everybody. A little bit more. I've been talking to shouting the Radio Radio <laughs> I think Alpha Yankee has also been another ham who's been around for a long, long time. And it's good to see him come along with his XYL. And thank you very much for coming here. It's good to have you amongst our midst. And I'll go on to the table there. And I think I can see. Uh, I'll disturb Adolf. Hi, Adolf. Good evening, everybody. It's, uh, as Deepak said, it's uh, lovely to have so many people gathered today, which is uh, unexpected, which is a short time. So, the boys, the youngsters have done a wonderful job. I hope we have uh, many more meetings like this way, under uh, no banner at all, and that should be the theme next time. Thank you very much. Enjoy the evening. Have a nice club. Thank you very much. A little bit at all about Adolf. I think he's one of the senior most hands in the country. Very much uh, involved with getting things in order as far as the national organizations are concerned. And he ran the Air Net All India Net on a very consistent basis. Thank you very much, Adolf. I think most of us got our feet wet on HF by talking to you. I think we overcame the initial shyness and the hesitancy. 
uh, by talking to Edward, uh, a very friendly voice and one of the founding members of Amateur Radio Society of India, the national organization. Thank you Edward for all the work that you have done. Uh, I have Dosu here in front of me. Second chance, I mean very kind to you Dosu. <laughs> we all love Dosu, I think he is a charmer. Thank you everyone, I'm view to NP as is uh, empty information of my t-shirt. No, 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 no. Those, those who like me call me a nice person, those who don't like me call me a naughty person. But what's in a name? Naughty person. I mean, one thing. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear you. Well, so we will come to RIG. He is not very old, so I think he's over here. He wants to speak with me. And for your information, as far as my knowledge goes, Doso is the senior most ham in Bombay at the moment. He was he has already completed about fifty-four years as a call sign holder. Everything I have got against him, when he completed fifty years, he never never given us a toffee even. <laughs> <laughs> that is why he is naughty person. Naughty person. This is uh, Dosu. Please, if I may, request you to you know, say hi to the gathering. I'm new to DNP and when I took his call sign, his initials are my call sign. He said, don't spoil my reputation on the next <laughs> <laughs> so That's why I don't count the net a lot. <laughs> anyway, it's lovely seeing everyone over here and I'm very proud of my husband. <laughs> yeah, I have Sudhir Bhai over here with you to SVS. Uh, a brief introduction. I'm meeting Sudhir Bhai for the first time. I think his uh, reputation preceded him. Yes, uh, I think a lot of senior hands in Bombay. Uh, over a big round of thank you to you as well. So I think you have trained a lot of people and we have had some very, very fine hands come out of our city. And I think you are the primary reason why they are, why we are all here, in fact, most of us, because I know the legacy has been passed on very rightfully by them. Thank you all. And thank you to all my students who are here. <laughs> makes me feel nice to see a lot of familiar faces. Let's hope it continues and we'll have many more hands. Thank you. And thank you to these organizers for putting such an effort. They deserve a special appreciation. Oh, please, a round of claps for them. I will come to view to IOC. Ramesh Bakshi. A veteran... Uh, Old time again, somebody who's again come back on HF, I must say. I think it was wonderful to and on CW, I think he's a very regular on it these days. I think he's been coming on two meters, but he's also heard on HFCW very often, nearly on a daily basis. Yes. Uh, my handle is Ramesh BU to India Oscar Charity. I, I got my license in nineteen seventy-five. And uh, I was operating for almost 25 years from Kopoli. And I had a wonderful setup there, but here if there are space constraints. But I operate on daily basis. Uh, mostly I like to operate on CW. And I love to use a hand key and not the uh, recent feathers. So I'm very happy to be here and very glad to meet all of you. I never knew that there were so many hands uh, in Mumbai, where, but I wish there would be more of them active. Thank you very much. I think this person in the order of seniority, not of age, I have my good friend over here, Gopal, due to Juliet Echo. CQ, CQ, CQ. <laughs> my CQ calls don't get many replies, so next time hopefully you'll come back to me. Uh, obviously, hamming is not a declining hobby. So many people here, so it's not a dying hobby. So thank God for that. And I wish my wife was here so that she would find the magic of what this thing is. She, she keeps asking me, "What do you keep repeating this call sign and QTH and signal strength all the time? It doesn't make any sense to me." 
<laughs> so I wish you guys to fun and enjoy. Thanks for coming. I think a small piece of information about uh, Gopal, it's been a hand for 45 years. I think he was one of the youngest when he got licensed at the age of 14. And he's still very much interested in radio. And also pursues flying as an additional interest. Flying very, very regularly. Good to have you here. Okay, I have already given an indication for the food counter to be made open. So I'll just have a look around and whoever I feel is appropriate, I'll just go and grab them and ask them to talk. So. Now there is no particular order being followed, I'm just going very randomly. I'll uh, ask Ruby, who seems very engrossed in conversation, to please say hi to everyone over here. Uh, yeah, Deepak, but I was doing some calculation. And if everyone takes two minutes, when are we going to have dinner? <laughs> <laughs> We've got the food counters open. The only request is please do not talk with food in your mouth. <laughs> you may pause to talk, but continue eating. But uh, a brief about uh, Rumi as well. I think Rumi has been uh, a very a frequent DXR. He's a social DXR. Not like somebody who just sent a fine and out and try to walk the next station. I think he takes the time off to talk to people on air. And uh, he's somebody who makes his own antennas and a proud owner of an IC781. I don't know how many of you are aware of the legacy of the ICOM781, but he's one of the owners. And I so envy him for that. <laughs> so you know. I will just come to your shack and ask him for it someday. At least allow me to operate for a few hours. But anyway, if you could just tell more about yourself to the guys, I please. No, I've been in ham radio because I enjoy the hobby and uh, that's about it. And I presume everybody else does as well. Okay, that's uh, very short and sweet. Thanks, Romy. We will come back to you later, maybe. <laughs> I have. Uh, Due to NXM, a very good friend of mine. I'm being a little partial over here. But uh, a veteran operator, again, uh, Vasapa was the chief telegraph officer in the Indian Navy. He was a submariner. I think he has been around in the 70s. He was His submarine was stationed near Andamans. Yeah, I'll leave it to you. I think he was VU3 BKY earlier and then he upgraded to VU2 NXM. So I would ask you just you know, introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. This is Basapa Arbole, V2 LXM, Kilo Charlie 2 Julu Nova Julu. I was a part of uh, expedition of VU 7 LD and the VU 4 PB and few IOTAs. I enjoy the hobby, but mostly I like to go ahead on Charlie Vili with the speed of 30. It's mostly expedition, but I enjoy SSP also. So thank you very much. Uh, we have a very, very reticent ham on, amongst us. Uh, needs a lot of introduction. Needs a lot of introduction because people don't recognize him, recognize him by face. But at least uh, there is hardly any country where people do not know you to NKS. Uh, I think he is one of the leading DXers in our country today. I think with a uh, very, very enviable DX total. An amazing shack and an excellent. RTTY operator. I think if you talk about RTTY, I think he's the man to look up to. And if I may request Nandu, you could uh, show us the clock. Nandu is very much into DXing and contesting. And uh, I don't think there is anybody else in the country who holds a single operator clock for a CQ Worldwide DX contest. I think those of you who do not know about the CQ Worldwide contest. I think they're the granddaddy of all contests. And we have RTTY, SSB, and CW happening every year. And Nandu is the only one. Nandu, if you could please hold it to the gathering over here. And if you could just say hello to everyone. Hello, everybody. I'm mostly on SS. Uh, I handle only pilots, so I don't go anywhere beyond finite. Thank you. Next. So, that's it. Thank you, Nandu. It's great to have you here. I think we have all enjoyed Nandu's company. Nandu and I have been a part of an IOTA operation. I've had the pleasure of operating from his wonderful shack. And really, uh, an amazing station that he has. And if I just move, I see Pankaj smiling here. View to our IO. Uh, hi to everybody. Uh, my name is uh, uh, to raise you to view to RIO and uh, uh, so 
मिलके सब बहुत बहुत सारे लोग से मिलके बहुत अच्छा लगा मुझे यहाँ पर अभी आ, काफी लोग को मैं पहचानता भी नहीं हूँ बहुत सारे लोग नए भी हैं और बहुत सारे मेरे से मुझसे काफी आ, पहले जैसे नंदू जी तो जिनको मैं कम कम पहचानता हूँ फिर भी आ, सब लोग आए और कितने शुक्रिया थैंक यू Okay, now I'll just move over to the other side. Uh, and I'll come to Rajan. Radio is great. I think the first time I heard that I bought a big smile to my face, and I'm the man who speaks the truth. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Rajan. I'm new to Romeo India Golf. New to radio is great. It's great to be here. It's great to see all Bursu and Adolf and Sudhir Bai and. Jog and so many old timers, my my co uh, hands who have become hands with me and after me and whatnot, and it's great. And it, this this really fuels again the passion to I need to be on the air again as soon as possible, as fast as possible. So great, thanks very much to Sai, to you, to everybody, uh, to having this kind of a lovely function. Thanks, bye bye. Thank you, uh, the food counter is open, so you may make a queue for the food counter. In fact, make a dash for the food counter because we don't want the food to go cold. And I'll keep walking around with the microphone. So please uh, do not forget your friends.